Good day everybody, this is Nell Perroco again and here is another Revit file which I did the facade lighting. So this is the Revit file that the client sent me and you can check all these drawings. Actually it's only a simple drawing but it's a huge building and this is what I did. Okay, so how I came up with the design is it's really not my design. It's the client's design because the client has this rendering presentation and the client wants to know what type of luminaires to be used, which can achieve this kind of effect, right? So this lighting design is not mine. It's theirs. I'm just preparing the dialogues calculation and selection of the luminaire. Okay, so this is what I did. And for every slot here, I selected, oops, I selected um, small floodlights that fit in into the grills. And then I put some surface mounted linear lights there, some up lights, floor recess on every wall where there is part of the rendering. I just added some ramp light here because it's not there in the rendering and some um, surface mounted outdoor down lights there yeah so 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 it will complete the whole package and also for this side the client just um put some up lights here yeah this one but i suggested to use a four window a surface mounted uh, luminaire so that all those uh, windows are highlighted so instead of using a floodlight pointing upward, I use a, a beautiful surface mounted with four windows. So it happens like that. But I still keep this one because maybe the clients doesn't like this uh, suggested luminaire. So I keep it. And once they said remove it, I can just remove it and then keep the uh, linear floodlight on the wall. This is a surface mounted and it has a bracket so you can place it there at that column. Okay, so I also added in my light scene the interior lighting so that the client will appreciate if, for example, I turn off the inside light, what it looks like. So I just put 60 by 6 in there. Okay, so these are the luminaires inside. So yeah, that's how... Oh, of course, I also added some bollards because the client only suggested some... Uh, I think these are up lights and because this is a parking area we need to have at least uh, 10 to 20 lux on the parking area so instead of a uh, spike light i suggested to use bollard okay yeah so that's why uh, being a lighting designer you don't only need to follow you also need to check if they're suggested design is correct or not if not you can suggest if they insist to use the spike light explain why it's not possible to just use spike light because this is a parking area and we need light in the parking area we can either suggest a pole light or flood light mounted on the the beam and then pointing downwards to the parking area or just this simple bollards we need to mention that it needs light so we need to provide light there and spike light is not enough to highlight the parking area okay this is for the safety and security of the drivers and also this is the entrance part so it should be bright enough for the people to walk into the entrance this is the main entrance here okay all right so um if you want to learn more how i did it and how i extracted this rabbit file to dialogues and how I converted the IFC file. Actually, I did not use the IFC file. I used the um, CAD file and then export it into Picon Planner. And then from Picon Planner, I saved it as 3DS file. And then um, I put it into Dialoxivo because the IFC file is too big because it has something inside. So I remove it using Picon Planner and that's how I did it. Now it's lighter. This is only um, 259 MB file. So it's, it's much lighter. 
All right, so if you want to learn how I did it, go and check my new course in Udemy, the facade lighting design techniques using Dialux Evo and Revit. Yeah, I will give you the coupon code later on so you will access this one for free. And yeah, that is my Christmas gift to all of you. So yeah, that's it for now. And I'll see you again on the next video and maybe in my Udemy course. All right, that's it for now. And have a good day.